Mum was diagnosed with dementia about 10 years ago. Uh, she was 70 at the time. We were having quite a lot of signs of memory problems for several years before that. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's I think approximately two to three years ago and she was 65 years old. The news that she was diagnosed with dementia uh, was really, really hard. Uh, but we had lots of suspicions before that they were major things going on with her memory. Uh, so it wasn't a total shock. Um, and she, her memory and confusion had got really, really bad when we eventually said, told that yes, definitely, this is a progressive dementia. Wendy Lynn is James's grandmother and Annette's best friend. We all took the news that she was diagnosed differently. Like, my dad was upset and concerned, obviously, and I didn't really know what it was, so I didn't know what to think. I just thought, oh, she's just something she's been diagnosed with, she'd get a little bit forgetful. And then I looked into her a bit and I realised that she's just going to forget everything, and it's obviously very concerning. Um, well, I took the news actually uh, fairly well, because to be honest, she'd shown signs um, over the last few years, and it didn't come as a great shock to me, but obviously it was pretty sort of destroying as well. She was then given a new drug called Aracet, which is given in the really, really early stages of dementia, and it slows down the disease quite a lot. So she took that for a few years, and it did slow it down, but even that drug itself comes to a stage where it, it's not doing any good, it can't slow the disease down any further and they start to get worse. She was given the normal treatments which is Aricept, which is a, a drug for Alzheimer's and um, she was put on some antidepressant tablets as well as, as her normal blood pressure pills etc. Communication with mum is very difficult now because she's lost her speech. She can't talk at all, she's um, lost her mobility um, which means that she can't move, she can't walk around, she has struggled to move her upper body. Um, so it's really, really difficult. Uh, she can't communicate that with us. We get around it for our sakes as well by still going and visiting and talking to her and telling her everything that's happened just like we used to. We just don't get any response back, but um, we hope that maybe somewhere she can hear us and we tell her about what's going on in our lives and different things, but it, it is very, very hard. She still knows me until very, very recently. She's had full understanding, although she hasn't been able to necessarily communicate terribly well back. Um, she actually understands fully what I'm saying and um, I, I find it really fairly easy. But she was a little bit forgetful and took a little bit of time to realise who I was and then we talk normally, but as time's gone on since she got diagnosed, she doesn't know who I am and she doesn't fully understand what she's saying now. She, you'd ask her a question, she'll just say something completely irrelevant, like you'll ask her if she wants to watch a certain programme on the telly and she'll say the flowers look nice. So it's difficult to have a sustained conversation with her now. Uh, there were lots of signs that Wendy was declining and it wasn't sudden when she was diagnosed. Um, the, the signs were she lost her balance, um, she was playing with her food, whereas before she really loved her food. Um, and something which at the time we found extremely hilarious, but it isn't in hindsight, she went to buy sausages for a barbecue for six people and couldn't remember how many to buy and came back with about 60. And obviously that is quite funny and we laugh, but that was another sign. She also stopped driving, she lost her confidence driving. Um, and there were lots of different signs, which at the time you, you didn't really realise what it was. There were lots of signs of the dementia before mum was diagnosed. Um, lots of indications where she was doing silly things, like putting her purse in the fridge, um, ringing us up three times within an hour for the same thing. Um, she was needing a lot more support from us for getting to pay bills. Um, but the major, major, major one where we realised that there was definitely something um, bad going on was the anniversary of my father's death, which she never ever forgot. And um, we all had to do something special as a family. 
um, the day came and went and she'd completely forgotten. So that's when we realised that, yes, there's something more serious going on than just an old age memory thing.